Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So yesterday we left Bergen, uh, we stayed a few days mostly to work on our videos and uh, Lisan's blog. The weather wasn't great, we didn't find any nice camp spot, we actually get kicked out a camp spot. I'm pretty sure we were allowed to stay but like it was an angry guy who told us okay you have to left because someone is coming and give you a ticket you're gonna pay. So anyway we left because uh, we wanted to left. And now we are more in a mountain region, as you can see, this is really more wild here. We found a quiet camp spot uh, yesterday. And this morning we are ready to go, we're gonna visit uh, some kind of a Viking church, all black, really mystery thing and gonna try to make a couple of great photos and videos and Let's see what happened next. See you guys. Okay, so the church is just right there and it's a really tiny church, way smaller than expected. You only see them here in Norway. And after that, we drove a little bit more north. Okay, it looked like we stopped at the right place. Check this out. This place is full of Subarus, it's actually a gas station, but it's actually uh, also a Subaru garage. And just behind us, they have like a yellow Forester, fully outfitted for um, like working on cars. We're gonna check this out. So today is a beautiful day, well at least it's not raining and we're gonna try to ride the famous Trollstigen road. It's uh, like a nice mountain road with a lot of um, waterfall everywhere, it's very scenic, very beautiful. So we're gonna try to get some nice footage of it and just enjoy and now it's raining. Okay, so we just stopped on the road because there is a nice thing to see here and it's a nice waterfall with bridge and blue water. Check this out.
So that's it, we drove the Troll Stegen. It wasn't really steep actually, but um, really sharp turns and it was pretty fun, even without sway bars on the Forester. <laughs> but a really nice drive, really scenic view. We were in the clouds at the top and uh, it's a very, very nice experience. The view is really amazing. That's so awesome. And then we took the road again. After a few hours, we found a nice camp spot to stay for the night. Okay guys, so um, we haven't really filmed a lot lately because it's been almost three weeks, uh, maybe even more, that we have rain every day. So it wasn't really fun, um, everything's wet, the rooftop tents, the annex, it's really messy and we couldn't really um, explore and do activities so we don't have a lot of footage from the, the previous days and weeks and we also felt like we need to move and so it's been a few days now that we are on the road driving um, a lot we are driving around 300 to 400 kilometers per day and that's a lot here in Norway uh, it's a lot of mountain roads and the speed limits are very very low so that's some big driving days but today we are heading to something pretty interesting and something I was uh, really waiting for uh, because we are heading right now to the Arctic Circle Center so this is basically the line of uh, the Arctic Circle so we are gonna be really up north uh, in a few hours and um, I, I'm a little bit excited about it Okay, that's it, we crossed the Arctic Circle. I'm really, really excited about this. It's just behind me, just this small uh, house. I actually marked the um, imaginary line uh, of the Arctic Circle. So, it's actually nothing fancy, nothing impressive, but I feel like I, I've accomplished something. So I'm really happy right now. But it's getting late and we're gonna find a calm spot right now. Good morning guys. I am very very happy this morning because we didn't add rain yesterday when we arrived at the calm spot. We didn't add rain during the night and we didn't add rain. We don't have rain this morning. So everything's dry. We have a little wind, so everything's really dry and it's a game changer. I'm really, really happy right, <laughs> right now. <laughs> you 
Check this out, this is dry. Unbelievable. But we don't have time to mess this morning because we're on a tight schedule. We have a ferry to, to take, we have a, a nice place to visit. So I'm gonna pack everything real fast, real quick, and then we're gonna hit the road again. Okay, so we arrived at Salzstromen. It's um, a place where something unique happened. Uh, when the tide is high, uh, there is some streams uh, coming. It creates a really strange thing in the water. It's called a maelstrom. You better Google it because I can't really explain it to you, but it's really impressive and we are gonna check this out right now. It should be the tide is gonna be high uh, in 10 minutes at its fullest. So let's check this out. Okay, so for once uh, we are on time. We're actually very early because this is the only ferry today to the Lofoten Island. So we are in the line waiting for the ferry. And we have a few hours to wait. It's gonna take three to four hours in the boat to get uh, to the Lofoten Island. So right now we are cooking some Cheeseburgers. <laughs> okay, so we waited more than three hours to get to the ferry and now there is three hours in the ferry. This is not very fun. But, you know, we are finally heading to the Lofoten Island and I hope it's gonna be very nice. Hi hey guys, so yesterday um, we arrived here pretty lately after the ferry. We shared this camp spot with um, a young German couple. They are very nice and very interested by our setup and it's always a pleasure to, to show people around how we live in the car. So it was pretty nice. Uh, we had a good sleep and now we are in the Lofoten Islands and we are gonna explore it a bit today. There are some nice hikes and stuff to see and today is probably the <laughs> the only day of good weather so we're gonna enjoy it um, as much as we can. So let's go explore the Lofoten Island. Oh and something happened uh, before the ferry, I don't really know how but I have a um, crack on the windshield. This is not really nice, but um, we're probably gonna have to change the, the windscreen. Okay, so we are now on our way to Valvika beach. It's a very nice one with white sand and really clear blue water. And it's a two kilometer hike. It's gonna take less than an hour, I think. <laughs> we took every gear we could. I don't really know why, but let's go. And that's it. Sadly, you won't see this beautiful beach because we actually didn't went to the beach. Um, we had some kind of an emergency once again with our cat Yugi. 
it was a beautiful and sunny day and it wasn't really hot but way hotter than the previous rainy day we had and um, it kind of hovered it and didn't went well at all so we cut it short and head to the vet once again now he's all fine but despite all of our precaution um, it wasn't enough we are also getting really really tired of this rain it's rain rain and rain every day so we decided that we are not gonna lose more time waiting for good weather we're gonna continue our journey up north and i really hope the weather is gonna be better anyway i really hope you enjoyed this episode if you really liked it please subscribe to my channel you can also check my instagram account my facebook page and my merch store and if you want to support me in an other way you can definitely check my patreon page thank you guys for watching and see you next week